everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm so glad you're here today for another video. I'm gonna do a painting on a pretty big canvas. It is 30 by 48. I'll show you that in a second and all my colors. Um, I'm gonna do an open cup. I did a few open cups recently and I'm really, really liking the, I feel like I have more control over the colors. Like say a flip cup, for example, you're putting everything in and dumping it out and hoping for the best. Whereas an open cup, I can kind of see if I'm getting too much of a dark color in one spot, I can add some white. I can kind of change it up as I go along, which I'm really liking the effect of that. I am going to use, for this one today, I'm going to use a red solo cup. So I'm just going to cut the bottom off. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done this art on the canvas because now I have like stuff everywhere and then I have to wipe that off. Okay, so here's the canvas. Like I said, it's pretty big. It is 30 by 48. I think the size goes excellent on a wall, like beside a bed, where you're not really looking at the full wall because the bed's taken up a part of the, the space. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through my colors here. Um, I have a lot of white mixed up. This is by Montmart. It's mixed how I always mix. There's a, a link to a video in the description. It's my normal recipe. You can see the consistency here. Kind of makes them out, but then goes right in. I find it doesn't, as long as it's not too thin, it'll work. Uh, but you just want your paints to be the same consistency for all of them. This is a black by Montmartre. I'm not going to use very much of this, if any. I'm really undecided yet. I just think I might want, it'll just create a little more, um, it'll create more contrast. Because white and black are the most extreme you can get. So it can create a little depth that way. And that one's mixed how I always mix as well. This is Deco Art Silver, gorgeous color. Uh, this is actually mixed a little different, same consistency. Three parts Liquidex pour medium to one part paint and a little water to thin it out. This is a metallic black by Artist Loft. Same thing, three parts Liquidex pour medium to one part paint and a little water. I just find with the metallics, anything really shimmery, Glue and flow trial kind of take it away. It doesn't look as good when it's dry. It's similar, but not as good. And I'm finding that just with the liquid export medium, it's really good. Next one is like a medium silver. I got this by mixing together the last two that I showed you, the silver and the metallic black. Isn't that pretty? Give it a little bit of variety. And the last one is the one I'm most excited about. Look at this. This is a color shift by Folk Art. And it is called Blue Violet Flash. This is the only color I guess I'm using in this painting. I want it to be mostly like a grayscale kind of thing and then hints of this amazing color. This one is also mixed three parts Liquitex pour medium to one part paint and a little bit of water. I have a big jug of, of white all mixed up ready to go just because I'm going to use a lot of white in this. I want lots of white negative space. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cover this canvas. I'm just gonna cover it in white, get a nice flawless base to start with. I'm just gonna spread this out with my hands. So I'm gonna speed this up. I don't wanna bore you to death. I'm gonna make sure I get my edges really well. Okay, so start here. I'm just gonna pour a little extra. Set my cup in that. And then I'm just pouring colors in here one at a time. Just try to go light, dark, light, dark. And then sometimes I like to drag it through through the paint and kind of help the cup move along. And then I just keep doing this until I feel like I have enough paint on the canvas and then tilt it out. And see this black is already looking too dark to me so I'm going to cover that 
All right, so I'm gonna try not to make this too boring and I'm gonna speed this up and play some music. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tip this up like towards you and let, let it run. I wanna straighten a lot of this out. Okay, so I don't love this. Really, I'm, I like this part, but this is, it's getting too over mixed for what I want. So I mixed up a bunch more white paint and I'm gonna just um, kind of do something different in the middle and tilt that out. Okay, I think I'm finally happy with this. <laughs> that was a lot of paint. Let's have a look. My camera will never pick up these iridescence. All the shimmering. All right, so here it is dry on the wall I wanted to show you. I don't have any varnish on this yet, but I will need to add some. So I had a little trouble with cracking in mostly the purple, which was really weird. I was able to fix it up um, just by dabbing it with a paintbrush. I took a little bit of purple and mixed some silver in it. So you can kind of see a little bit here, these cracks, if you look really close. And that will be mostly hidden once I add the varnish. I just want this to cure a little longer before I add that, but I wanted to show you. So what do you think of it overall? I think it's really nice. It's, it's gonna look really nice as a background on a wall for someone. Let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.